This is Tomo News for Friday, April 14th. Learn how to pop your dislocated knee back into place. Here we see a young soccer player in Guarenas, Venezuela, dislodging the patella of his knee in the middle of a soccer game. Thankfully, the prompt intervention of paramedics made sure this kid's kneecap was put back into place immediately without the need for surgery. Watch carefully to see how. Fett removes two huge fly larvae from kitten's body. Brace yourselves, Tomo fans. What's about to happen to this cat is not pretty at all. The video, shot on January 6th and released this week, shows a veterinarian using a surgical instrument to very carefully and gently pull out a couple of healthy looking Cudarebra, parasites whose eggs find their way onto the bodies of cute little animals by detecting heat. When they hatch, they then get cozy underneath the animal's skin and stay there for a little while. A delightful sight to behold, we know. Imagine being the cat. In case you're wondering, the larva will grow to roughly the size of the first joint of a person's thumb. Ew! After about a month, the Cuteriva larva then makes its way off the host, hops to the ground and pupates, becoming a full-fledged botfly. It's gross, yes, but you'll be happy to know the little kitty, though in obvious discomfort, is going to be just fine. No more creepy crawlies hiding in you, little one. Woman spends tens of thousands on very special boob job and tanning injections. A former German flight attendant turned model decided it would be in her best interest to drop $63,000 to become a real life Barbie. Martina Big claims she has the biggest jugs in Europe at a whopping size 32S. What makes her plastic melons even more special is that she can pump them up by injecting saline into them all by herself. Her latest addiction is using melanin tanning injections to transform her mayonnaise-colored skin into a darker shade, which she referred to as African dark. According to Big, she's going for a dark, crispy brown look, which kind of sounds more like fried chicken than what human skin should look like. Sure, she looks a little like Kirk Lazarus from Tropic Thunder, but whatever. She said her fans were a bit taken back by her darker look, but have since come around. The former flight attendant started enhancing her body in 2012 after her boyfriend suggested she get into modeling. She plans to have a booty lift later this year and will keep on getting those tanning injection jabs. Hey, if you're gonna go, you might as well go all the way, right? Snake busts into internet cafe and scares the crap out of patrons. A group of users at an internet cafe in Ang Thong, Thailand got the shit scared out of them when an unexpected customer showed up at the door. The security camera footage, captured on April 8th, shows the moment the sneaky serpent, a rat snake, enters the room and immediately causes chaos, jumping into the joint and slithering around the room as the poor lads try to get on top of chairs or run for their lives. Here's some great news, we've got multiple angles to show you, and as you can see, each is just as entertaining as the last. Take another look at that angle in slow-mo, and you'll see the snake try to bite onto that poor guy's behind. He doesn't look too thrilled about it, does he? This is the camera angle from just outside the cafe. Keep an eye on the door there, and you'll see the slithery reptile spring through the gap the second he sees an opening. Wow, that guy's fast! Luckily for the jumpy patrons, rat snakes are not venomous, and as their name suggests, they typically feast on rodents and birds, suffocating them using their killer constriction technique. But the threat of death or serious injury aside, that's still no way to start a productive day. Where's Samuel L. Jackson when you need him? U.S. drops the mother of all bombs on ISIS. Kaboom! The U.S. Air Force dropped the largest non-nuclear bomb ever used in combat on Afghanistan yesterday. Known to the military as the mother of all bombs, the 22,000-pound GBU-43 has an explosive yield equivalent to more than 11 tons of TNT. The bomb detonates before it reaches the ground creating a huge blast radius. In addition to the physical damage, the sheer scale of the bomb's impact also inflicts terrible psychological impact on the enemy. 
This footage shows the Air Force testing the bomb in 2003. The target yesterday was the Islamic State in Khorasan, also known as ISIS-K. ISIS's Afghan affiliate has been using IEDs, bunkers, and tunnels to dig in following recent heavy losses. One witness on the ground said the blast was the biggest he had ever heard and targeted an area exclusively occupied by ISIS fighters. However, an Afghan MP said locals told him a teacher and his young son died in the blast. A U.S. Special Forces soldier was killed last week fighting ISIS-K in Afghanistan. The U.S. military estimates there are between 600 and 800 ISIS-K fighters in the country. The military said the bombing was unrelated to the soldier's death and added it took every precaution to avoid civilian casualties. President Trump confirmed he had authorized the military to carry out the bombing. He also denied that the attack was intended to send a message to North Korea amid heightened tensions with Kim Jong-un's hermit state. Gunman goes on a shooting rampage on Atlanta Metro. A man is dead and a few others wounded after a man fired multiple shots inside a packed Atlanta train yesterday. Police say the suspect got on the train just before 4.30 p.m. on Thursday and began shooting as it moved from Hamilton E. Holmes to Westlake Station. A 38-year-old man was fatally shot. Bullets also hit his girlfriend and two other bystanders, a 19-year-old girl and a man in his 50s or 60s. The three shooting victims and another who was injured in the ensuing panic were given medical help and are now reportedly stable. Cops took the suspect into custody at Westlake and recovered the gun. The dead man's family believes he was targeted by the gunman, saying the two worked together and had altercations. The Young Turks have yet to cover the biggest story hitting YouTube creators. The YouTube channel The Young Turks is the platform's biggest news show, but they've yet to cover the biggest story hitting content creators. Last week, we told you about how The Young Turks' main channel was curiously silent on the demonetization front, all while still getting ads on videos with very safe for work content, such as porn site protects you more than Republicans. But it's not just us who've noticed their silence on the topic. Several people on Twitter have noticed the same thing. Meanwhile, on YouTube, creator Hard Bastard poses the direct question, are the Young Turks getting special treatment from YouTube AdSense? Vlogger's Any62 also took note, he bemoans how the Young Turks and mainstream news can get ads on Trump videos, while well, he can't. We know your pain, we know your pain. And while the Young Turks' main channel is still getting ads, some of their partners aren't. Pundit and Young Turks partner Jimmy Dore have been hit, as has their other partner TYT Nation, as well as Secular Talk. Ex-TYT partner David Pakman has been slammed, and he's about as progressive and family-friendly as you can get. To be clear, we want the Young Turks to get ads, but so should every other creator. So once again, we ask, Jank, Anna, why are you keeping mum on the demonetization fiasco, especially when it could be in your network's interest to battle against it? Black Dude Fabricates White America Hate Crime Curtis Dwight Florney is behind bars this week on allegations he tried to burn down a refugee's store and then blame it on white racists. Florney, a black man, allegedly targeted the Charlotte, North Carolina store in early April 2017. Police believe he left the Bhutanese owner this threatening letter, laced with prejudiced comments including, Trump's is our nation builder for white America, and we need to get rid of Muslims, Indians, and all immigrants, as well as threats of torture. And he could have gotten away with it too if it weren't for a nearby surveillance camera that captured the entire thing. Firefighters brought the blaze under control, and cops soon tracked Florney down. The 32-year-old's been charged with writing the threatening letter, as well as for ethnic intimidation, arson, and felony breaking and entering. Meanwhile, store owner Kamal Dimal told local media that his store remains open to everyone. Chinese panty perv busted with over 10,000 pairs of women's underwear. A particularly pervy panty pickpocket was busted by police and discovered to be hoarding over 10,000 pieces of women's underwear in his factory dorm in Zhejiang, China. The man was caught with his pants down when one of the victims spotted a pair of her own drawers that had been stolen hanging from a balcony on a factory dormitory close to her residence. Police then busted into the room and found 10 bags of women's unmentionables, in addition to boxes and cabinets filled to the brim with panties and bras. The suspect is named Xing and in his 40s, he told the Popo he'd amassed his collection over the past decade. 
Apparently the dude would grab a bunch of undies and cuddle with them to help him fall asleep at night. Isn't that what Xanax is for?